We are living in the world where one-dimensional people are dying out as dinosaurs. You can be successful or useful enough if you put yourself into one sphere. Even in this one sphere, if you do not look outside and don't open new worlds, you will get bored and look inside yourself. Today, I want to share with you a concept I heard from one of Ukrainian philosophers and co-establisher of FIRST Leadership Academies. We'll take a small look into leader of nowadays and the future and see four characteristics that determine the leader. So, first, a leader is the one who serves for the society around, who commits for the common bonfire. It is about a person who does not concentrate on him or herself, but looks for the others, who has joy out of it. It is fundamental to have joy. Second, it is about a person who chose the identity of a leader. It is not about who was the given title, but made a conscious decision to attain it. This person has to be a warrior. A warrior who does not give up. Those who do not give up are the ones who win. Personality that fights for the goal, for the world of a better place, of a better quality, and his or her personal dreams. So, a leader is a warrior. A person who commits his or her life towards victory. But uh, today, I want to concentrate your attention on third and fourth component of leadership. I find it personally inspiring and important, so it shouldn't be boring for you. A warrior cannot have final victory. When a person reaches their last goal, they stop growing, stop developing. Beautiful moments do not pass, said Faust. And everything ended on this. Everything ends when you think you reach your final goal, final happiness, success. But when you grow, when you keep moving, keep developing, in this way, emerge a personality that searches, opens, and fights for the new worlds. This is the personality of explorer. So the third component of leadership is explorer. A person who is not tired of discovering him or herself and the world around it. When everything becomes a routine, you need a resource, a emotional resource that won't let you lose the taste of life, won't, stop, won't let you stop, won't let the fear spread, but will help you to move forward, but will help you to move forward confidently towards the goal. And how to find the resource? It does need strong character. It needs a personality, personality that will tirelessly seek, open and fight for the new worlds. So the victory of your life can become a reality. Therefore, the main instrument that a modern leader has to have is the ability to wonder. There are many forces in the world, though four main ones. Four forces that make our world. Gravitational, electromagnetic, strong nuclear, and weak nuclear. So those four forces are really important. But there is one more force, a force that fulfills personality a force of wonder. So it is very important to practice this identity of a leader, explore and seek for the wonder. In order to get deep into something, you need to be an explorer. You need to dig deep to open your wonderland. Be your Alice in the wonderland. We are living in a very changeable environment. Huge number of opportunities, huge number of resources. World, fast, uh, world changed fast, radically, and fundamentally. It is not only about melting of icebergs or geopolitics and more. This is our world, and it's so interesting because of all those changes. And the variety, those constant changes is the world we are living in. We have to live in and fight for our dream. Changeability is a challenge. You have a dream, you have to fight for it, but with new obstacles, new circumstances. And we need to so settle those changes. You need to be one in charge. Leaders are born in chaos. Warriors are growing in a mess, and ability to wonder will let you settle the speed of changes, feel at home in times of changes. If we don't know what is going to happen, we are of course scared, we feel of what will or won't be, but we need to remember that terra incognita, or the unknown territory, is the place where leaders are born. And ability to go through all those 
changes without losing the sight of the horizon, without losing your final goal, is extremely important for our generation. We need to learn how to live in the chaos. That's what Alice did. Alice is always changing in the mess of the wonderland. She becomes huge, tiny, she talks to the caterpillar. She always changes in this mess of the wonderland. But even with all that, Alice needs to keep being Alice. It is very important. So what I mean is, in order to be successful today, it is not enough to stay in one dimension. But at the same time, do not lose your final goal. Because in that way, as I said, we will all die out as dinosaurs. Each person has few dimensions. We all know that. Somebody can be a good student, or somebody can be a party person, religious, work, be in relationships. And we put those statuses on each other, like this is the only world we have a right to live in. But they are not. We are always much more. And when you feel like you want to be something else, you want to open something new for yourself, you want to explore, do it. Never ever limit yourself to only one dimension. You need to become an explorer of resources. Open the world in all your dimensions. And for this, you need to be able to wonder and be amazed. So there are a few exercises that are going to help you practically form the ability to wonder. First, stop the moment. Especially in the speed of uh, the busyness and all the work and everything, you need to stop for 30 seconds and give, your and give yourself time to think. Feel the moment here and now. Concentrate where your feet are touching the ground or how air touches the skin of your hands. You so think of it. Be aware. Unconsciousness doesn't last. But everything that conscious can become a resource. So stop the moment. Cut up a DM, see the day, live here and now. Stop and give yourself time to think, to notice details. Second, I'm sorry. look high. Who knows laureates of the Nobel Prize from the previous year? Um, you know, this prize is given to people who actually made a contribution to the history of human. Kind. It is amazement. It's a resource that needs to encourage you to move into achieving more, to being more. Know what was discovered in the world. What is new? Read books, go to theory, just uh, um, see movies, talk to new people so you can be inspired and ask from yourself more. Third, uh, see yourself from somebody else's perspective. Not just somebody, but who is actually important to you, like um, friends or family or maybe teachers. Put yourself in the situation of embarrassment, for example, and look at yourself from somebody else's perspective. Why? Because again, it will open for yourself a new side of yourself. And the last, get out of routine. Routine can help you form the algorithm where how to behave here or there, but at the same time, it kills the taste of life. And you need to be able to escape from the routine. Do something new you have never done before, like travel to a new country or talk to new people. Because believe me, every one of us has something to say. Or if you have an opportunity, give a TEDx speech or maybe organize a TEDx speech. Um, sometimes I like to go running, for example, in the morning or meditate here on the beach. And what I do, I scream like, ah, it's pretty weird, I know. But at the same time, it gives me power. I feel like powerful at that moment. And nobody cares. Nobody even noticed this, maybe. But this brings me pleasure. So the main point is that you are not trapped in circumstances. The ability to get out and open your wonderland, because it does exist. Wonder is a mechanism that you need to create yourself. So you will never stop being explorer. And when you explore, at some point, you will find miracle. And miracle is something that will drive you to the Mars and back, something that won't let you stop. So let's sum up. In this rapid world, we need to wonder so we can open new worlds, but stay ourselves. We looked at some exercises, how to form the ability to wonder, and we said that wonder is an instrument to find miracle. Miracle in yourself, in community, country, nation, and the world. 
And miracle also comes from another perspective. You discover miracle when you look for more, when you do extra, when you try to be more, when you try to discover more and open your worlds. Not stop, don't limit yourself in your mind. Then you, make, you can make this day a better day for yourself and for me. Please make this day better. I'm really open for some amazement, for some wonder. So don't stop yourself, don't have limits. Be your own miracle. It's about fourth aspect of leadership. Leader is a traveler. And the journey for leader starts, but it has no right to finish. You reach your Everest, go to Mars. Set for yourself a new destination. In some way, leader is a kid. And I strongly encourage to nourish this kid inside of yourself. Because as long as you're a kid, you will, have, you will be fulfilled with dreams. And with this, you will have many worlds to discover. Shimon Peres ex-Prime Minister of Israel once said, count the number of your dreams and count the number of your achievements. If the dreams succeed, you're young. So let's stay young, okay? Thank you. <laughs>